Hi my crafties, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I have a VR and it is for Janvia at Purposely Crafting the Divine Intervention. She is having a 300 and beyond Sebi Challenge giveaway and your entry needs to be postmarked by the 15th of June 2021. So congratulations Janvia um, and I hope that your challenge will get lots of entries and that your will get be way beyond 300. So um, she was asking for a pocket letter full of sequins and this is what I have oops, created for her. Um, pocket letters are always interesting for me because everything always falls out. <laughs> I did not create any pockets or folders or pop outs at all this time. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, so I used Garden Party and I just cut my squares rectangles down to three and a half by two and a half. And this one I wrapped with um, the gold Hobby Lobby glitter heart trim that I love so much. Oh, love this stuff. And then um, this one I found some on Amazon, very similar, but it wraps or dangles down instead of it going across. So that's different. And I think it's like 25 yards or 20 yards. And then um, finally, my pink one came in, but it is a lot tinier than the big one. It's still really cute. I was just expecting it to be exactly the same size and it's not. Um, like I texted Kathy and I was like, okay, I really need to pay attention to the size. The fine print tells you the size of the product. You have to hunt it down and not look at those little pictures because those pictures show it all up close and they look the same size, but they're not. Okay, moving on. So, um, I went with uh, black and white, pink, black and white, pink, black and white, pink, black and white, pink. It was my, my theme. Okay, and then way down here um, is this one and then I used the or the gold thread with from Hobby Lobby that has the sequins on it and then this one really cute I just uh, took and cut out a J and um, I added the double back tape down there and then these are little uh, ombre beads that Maka and Maka's home gifted me and I created a little J for her put some little flowers also for Maka and um, they're paper flowers and then um, a seam binding that I got off of Amazon. So yes, I do a lot of Amazon shopping. It's just easy and convenient for me. Plus then I buy other stuff at the same time. So this one just has that little farmland scene and I loved it with the little chicken and uh, I punched out some hearts for her. And then this one, um, I cut out some Polaroid um, frames then put a little scene on there these little scenes are there's three of them one here one here and one here they're just on with a single um, removable glue dot but I'm gonna tell you these removable glue dots even though it says removable they're pretty tough so um, be forewarned um, and then this one I went and cut out uh -huh, I created some um, the shrink plastic. So this is the windmill. This is a teal flower and that's that little quail. Oh my God, it's so cute. Let me see if I can pull them up. I did post them on Instagram just because they were so cute. And then I decided to throw them in here because well, I had one more square to fill and that was, I forgot. Okay. So there we go. Really cute. And the teal flower is very dark, but if you lift it up and put it behind white, it shows up very pretty. So, um, really cute. These ones I got flat. And then this one I put, I traced the word garden party. And then, um, I traced over some flowers that were also on the, the packaging of the 12 by 12. Um, I got the project pack, um, from Joanne's. Okay. So Joanne has garden party really cheap um it's all on sale however they're very limited and even when 
I was so excited. I placed an order and I bought a bunch of garden party stuff offline and then it came back and said, I'm sorry, none of your items are in stock. So they refunded my money, but <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I was so excited it was going to come, but I went all the way to, um, from Oceanside to Hemet, which I had no idea where Hemet was. Um, <laughs> to get the project pack. What I do like about the project pack is it's double-sided. And some of the papers are different. Like this, the frames here, the, the blue is, um, it's the golden color in the 12 by 12 and the six by eight. But in the garden, uh, the party pack, hmm, project pack, it's blue. And um, they have another page that is, golden but they created it in pink and then another one that was the tulips I think it was the flowers on white in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 8 but in the project pack it's uh, or pad it is um, an, kind of a creamy uh, maybe an apricot color and then the flowers are a different color I think I think they're all pink instead of the other one they were multicolored and there's also one that's pink it has little tiny white bunnies on it and that's adorable but um i can't remember oh yeah the gingham one that was pink gingham is um the teal gingham now green green gingham i used it somewhere so we'll see it um all right so i'm gonna flip this over and hopefully nothing will fly out So, oh, oh no, I thought the sequins were escaping. Okay, so I've got the gold glitter sequins and this iridized white, and then the um, the little multicolored hearts. I think it's just hearts. There might be others. No, I see stars and flowers in here. Um, I get this at Walmart. It comes in a tube when I can find it, and most of the time I can't find it. Um, then I have this uh, blue iridescent one and this purple one is divine oh my gosh it looks opaque here but it is translucent and it, it, it too oh makes me drool and then there's this one that's um, silver and teal and this one that's pink and then I shared some of the sprinkles that are clay polymer clay and then in the center we were supposed to put a um, one of our favorite mixes and I really love clear um, sequins. Now I didn't have enough clear sequins to fill so I used some of the iridescent tubes from Dollar Tree and then some of the dew drops and there's some um, diamond crystals in there so um, but I just really love um, I obviously like the way it, it plays right here <laughs> So then I remembered that one of the squares we were supposed to leave blank for our information. Hmm, I forgot that. <laughs> so um, I'm going to flip this over. I created this little dangle card over here with some beads. Um, and this is a little tiny tassel from Jesse James beads, that a mix that I got at uh, Walmart. Yes, my two stores are Walmart. <laughs> And Amazon, 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 and then Walmart. I'm I'm either shopping from Amazon online or I'm at Walmart once or twice a week. But anyway, um, I created this little um, thing. Of course, my butterflies on there. <laughs> Got the gold trim from Hobby Lobby. There's this vellum piece that I stickled with a gold stickle, and yes, I stuck my thumb, my finger in it. I still got stickles on me. Um, I did put a paper doily back here, and you can see that it continues all the way to the back. I thought about making a pocket, but doilies are very thin. So um, when you open it up, I thought about putting a pop out in here, but I'm really running out of time. And I just wrote my information on vellum. Um, unfortunately, you can't really see it too well. I did cover my address with washi tape. Please do that, ladies. You never know. Accidents happen. Um, not that anyone intends to, but they just kind of open it up and go, ooh, there's their address. You know what I mean? So, um, 
but I'm also gifting her a memory decks card. So that will have my information in it as well. So that's my project share. I hope you like it. I hope she likes it. And if you do like it, please hit that like button um, and leave a friendly comment below. Also, if you have not already, please subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I post more content. And I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.